Good morning, students. My name is Fahim Ahmad, and I am a registered mentor for Oxford Brookes University's BSc Honours in Applied Accounting program. In this video, I am going to introduce what this program is all about, and I am also going to introduce how students can interact with me when they want to do this program. So let's begin the video. First of all, let's talk about the introduction of the Oxford Brookes University's BSc Honours program. Okay. It is a joint initiative between ACCA and Oxford Brookes University and this initiative actually takes into account the learning which ACCA students have already taken by passing papers from F1 to F9. After that, students only have to write a thesis of 7500 words and they have to pass the ethics module. And when you do these two plus your F1 to F9 papers, you are eligible to get a graduation degree from Oxford Brookes University. So why OBU? Why Oxford Brookes University? Why this degree? This degree actually develops your analytical and report writing skills. This is something which ACCA students lacks somehow because in our professional papers we do not focus on these things. So these shortcomings can well overcome if you do this degree. The second benefit is of course it's a full-fledged four years degree which is usually students get when, when they uh, study in Oxford Brookes University for four years. So as an ACC student when you pass your fundamental level you can get the benefit of getting this degree. It's a very high quality education and it is research based as well. So who is eligible for it? As I said earlier that you need to pass from paper F1 to paper F9 to get eligible for this degree. You will have three attempts, of course, to complete the degree. If you send it once and you don't go through, you don't pass, then of course, you will have two more attempts uh, to pass. You, you, students only get three maximum attempts to pass the degree. If you fail once, then the second time, your RAP research analysis project can only get a C grade, unfortunately. So you should try to get services of a good mentor and you should try to pass at the first go. So what are the requirements of this degree? What you need to fulfill if you want to get this degree? The first requirement is of course, as I said, you need to pass the research and analysis project, which is consist of 7,500 words. With that, you also need to pass the SLS, which is of 2,000 words, and you also need to send a presentation of up to 10 slides. So you need to present your findings and you need to present your men, uh, your uh, research to your mentor when you will be meeting your mentor at least three times. So these are few of the requirements of the Oxford Brookes University's thesis program, BSc program. Now let's look at the word breakup, how these 7500 words are breaked up. So the introduction is 1000 words of course, then the second part is called the information gathering which is 2000 words. The third phase is analysis that is 4500 words so that's how it makes 7500 words then you got you have to work on another document called sls which is 2000 words and you also make a presentation of up to 10 slides or 15 minutes of presenta presentation time so it all depends on how you decide on your presentation but these are the word breakup of the oxford brooks uh, university's thesis requirements the main focus of your uh, project should not be on a company, it should not only be a financial focus, but rather it should be a focus on the business of the company. It should look at both financial and non-financial elements of any business of any company. So if you want to make a good project, if you want to make a good report, you need to make sure that you have a diverse uh, you have a diverse uh, research, you understand the business of the company very well and you can give your comment, you can give your analysis on the performance of the company which should cover both business and financial aspects. So that's the end of the part one of this video. If you want to, uh, if you want to know more about the topics covered and if you want to know more about how to start it and how to, how to go in details, you can watch the part two of this video as well. Thank you.